Hi guys, it's Katie. I have my grocery haul here. This is the world's smallest grocery haul. I went to Aldi. I spent $17.29. Um, so what I'm going to do for this week is since it's a small grocery haul, I'll show you the grocery haul, then I'll show you my meal plan. And I'm not going to do a food prep video this week just because it's a short week. I, I lost a day for the holiday and also I'm working out of my freezer for my meal plan, which is why I didn't need very much grocery wise. So a lot of the things that I'm making this week are already prepared for me ahead. I've done them in the weeks past. So I will still go through my meal plan and I'll also tell you kind of what I've already done and what I'm going to do just to give you an idea of how you can prep ahead. And I'm going to have a pretty easy week, a very light week as far as budget for the grocery haul. So at Aldi, I got this playground ball. It was $3.99 and my little one wanted the purple one. They had all sorts of colors in it. Um, we've gotten these kind of playground balls before, like at Dick's. They're usually like $7 or $8.99 and they don't last very long anyway. So for $3.99, I went ahead and grabbed it. If it lasts through the summer, I'll be happy. We got some shredded wheat, bananas, the cucumbers were 89 cents, so I went ahead and picked those up. I got Dijon mustard and lemon juice. I use these to make my homemade mayonnaise, so I like to have them on hand all the time. Black Swiss cheese, just for incidental snacking or to put on top of salads for my the rest of my family. And then I got canned salmon, which I will use this to make some salmon patties. So I'll show you my receipt and my meal plan. Here is my receipt, shouldn't take too long to look over that. And then um, one more thing I got this week, I got 10 ears of corn over the weekend for Memorial Day. They had it, pretty much every grocery store had corn on the cob on sale, but we got 10 ears of corn. We've already had a few um, and my husband shucked them all, so they're ready to go. Here is my meal plan. Tonight we're going to have barbecue pulled pork sandwiches and corn on the cob. So the barbecue pulled pork was already done. I actually did this in the crock pot a while ago. I just put a, a pork shoulder or a Boston butt in the uh, crock pot and you just cook it until it's tender and then I added some barbecue sauce and it makes quite a bit so I took part of it and put it in food saver bag, uh, vacuum sealed it and froze it. So it's actually thawed out in my refrigerator. All I need to do is warm it up. I'll probably just um, simmer it on the stove top. You could probably even just microwave it. And then to make them into sandwiches, I'm using the hamburger buns that I made last week. I made long skinny um, bratwurst sandwich buns. And with the rest of the dough, I made hamburger buns and put them in the freezer. So this morning I took them out, let them rise and thaw and bake them. So they're ready to go. And like I said, my husband already shucked the corn on the cob. So I'm just gonna um, put that in a simmering pot of water for a few minutes and that will be done. I also wanna make pasta with chicken and salad. And that is very simple. I have, I had gotten some chicken that I cut up, diced up, and packaged up and put in the freezer. So it's all ready to go. And I will pull that out and thaw it the night before. I'm gonna just boil some pasta and use a jar of pasta sauce. So all I do is take the chicken and simmer it in the pasta sauce. You could probably brown the chicken ahead of time, but I don't even bother with that. Just throw the raw chicken in the jar of pasta sauce and simmer it um, until the chicken is cooked through and serve it over pasta and make a salad. So that's a very simple night. This um, is gonna be a little bit more involved, but I found some spring roll wrappers in my freezer that I don't really remember buying, but I do have some ground pork in the freezer. I also have some cabbage in the refrigerator and carrots. There's a recipe right on the back of the spring roll wrappers. It calls for also bean sprouts. So instead of going to a different grocery store that sells bean sprouts, I'm gonna try to sprout my own. So I have mung beans in the pantry. I've soaked them and they're starting to sprout already. And then for the fried rice, a lot of times I'll do like a dinner fried rice with either chicken or shrimp and a lot of vegetables. But for this, since I'm having the spring rolls, which will have vegetables um, and meat in it, I'm probably just gonna do a very simple fried rice. So I will use white rice. I could cook that ahead to make sure that that's ready and cooled. And then I'm probably just gonna throw some frozen peas and some carrots and some celery and onion and make a very simple like side dish fried rice. For the next meal, I have kraut with pork ribs and mashed potatoes. I do that in my crock pot. So I have I have made kraut in the past. So sauerkraut, I canned it, it's ready to go. Um, or you could just get like a jar of sauerkraut from the grocery store. And then the pork ribs, um, those are like country ribs. I just put a little bit of sauerkraut and then some pork ribs and then a little more sauerkraut and just put them in the crock pot for like eight hours. And that's done. And then just make up a batch of mashed potatoes that night. 
smoked chicken soup. I smoked a chicken on Sunday, but you'll see that in last week's. No, you'll see it in this week's weekly meals. Anyway, I smoked a chicken, and so I have leftover chicken plus um, the carcass. So I will just make stock, cut up that meat, add some carrots, onion, celery, and probably barley, and that meal is done. I have a deer roast in the freezer. I'm also going to do this in the crock pot. So um, deer roast with some onions and maybe some like carrots in the crock pot. And then I will either do some roasted potatoes or I might just, sometimes I put like whole smallish sized potatoes on top in the crock pot and then they can be kind of like baked potatoes. I'm not exactly sure. And then it says veggie. I'll probably seriously, I'll just use a frozen vegetable. Maybe peas or something would go really good with that. And then salmon patties with rice and a vegetable. These are like salmon burgers, but um, I was just going to serve them on top of some rice. And then again, I'll probably have a frozen vegetable because I didn't get very much produce this week. I also have some greens coming out of the garden, which I could do on one of those nights. And as far as the salmon patty, um, there's a recipe right here on the can that I'll probably... Um, either use this or I have another recipe that calls for crushed up saltines instead of breadcrumbs. I think I like that version better, but um, anyway, pretty simple salmon burger patty um, recipe and you can mix that up ahead of time and then you just either pan fry them or you can grill them, but they sometimes fall apart. So I'll probably just pan fry them in a cast iron skillet. All right, so I, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul meal plan and very abbreviated food prep video. I'll see you guys next week with my grocery haul, my weekly meals, and my hopefully a food prep next week. And will get back on regular schedule. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.